Hey, it's Jonah Jones, and in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to format your book for a Kindle so that it's easily readable and looks good on the device. I'm going to start out by showing you two different Kindle books here. One's formatted properly and one is not. This first one here has good format. Just take a look at this. The table of contents, it's a clickable table of contents. You can click on any of the chapter titles that will take you directly to the chapter. And notice that the paragraphs are all spaced out properly. The chapter headings, look at those. The titles are all headings. We got subheadings. There's clickable links all throughout the text. This all looks very good right here. And this is what we want. What most readers don't realize is when they see this book, they think that the author just typed it like this, uploaded it to KDP, and it came out looking like this. But that's not what happened. As the author was typing this book, there were a few techniques he used to make it come out looking just as good on Kindle as it did in his Word file as he was typing it in Microsoft Word. This second one right here is on the Kindle Previewer software, and I made this one specifically just for demonstration purposes. I would definitely never publish this. This looks terrible. The table of contents just looks chaotic. I can hardly even read it. Looking at just the text of the book, look how horrible this is. And the pictures are all scattered and mixed up. This is awful right here. I didn't type it like this. It looked good in Word, but then when I uploaded it to KDP, this is how it would look. And that would definitely get me negative reviews if people paid me money and they got this. And when you just type your book and immediately upload it to KDP without checking for format, this is what can happen. So I'm going to show you how to prevent this. The first thing you need to do before you even start writing your book is open up Microsoft Word and save the file as a Word 97 to 2003 file. Or if you're using a Mac, I think it's going to be Word 97 to 2004. Whatever you're using, just make sure you save the file as a doc file, not a docx file. This is important because Kindle is a little behind on digital formats. So a .x file, which is Word 2007, or a PDF file will not convert properly, but a doc file will. Now if you've already typed your book, that's fine. Don't worry. Just save the file as a Word 97 to 2003 file, a doc file. You'll just have to make a few changes to it. So the next thing, as I'm typing the book, the techniques I want to keep in mind are these. Now I'm right here at the table of contents, so I want to start working on the first chapter, which in this case would be the introduction. What I want to do is hit control, enter, right after the last piece of text on the previous page. And then what I want to do, to label the chapter, I want to go up here to the styles panel, and I want to click heading one. And what that does right there is that tells Microsoft Word that this is the start of a new chapter. And Microsoft Word is going to remember that, and it's going to tell KDP that, as I'm publishing this book through KDP for the Kindle, it's going to tell that to KDP. And then Kindle devices will then recognize that this is the start of a new chapter. So I'll put in introduction. I always like to have my chapter title centered, so I'm going to move it to the center. Then when I hit enter, it goes back to normal, and that means that the text that I enter from here on in is just going to be regular normal text like this. I just write the chapter right here. There's nothing special about this text or anything, it's just regular text. So I'm writing the body of the chapter right here. And this is what I want. Now let's say I wanted to have a numbered list in this. Well I can do that, but I gotta go through here, up in the paragraph panel. And then I can type in uh, my different points. Hit enter, and I got another point, point two. And I can keep doing this on and on and on. And then this is gonna show up like this when it's published through Kindle. Uh, let's say I wanted to have a uh, bulleted list. Well, I can have that. All I've got to do is go through the paragraph panel, and hit this, and keep doing that. And then this will translate through KDP. So the most important thing is to use the styles panel here for your chapter titles, and also to use the paragraph panels for your numbered lists and your bulleted lists. If I wanted to have a subheading, I could also do that too. I could use heading two and that will make a subheading for me. And I can change these headings to look any way that I want them to. If I don't want them to be bold, I can just do that and it'll appear that way. I can change the size of it to larger or smaller. You know, whatever I want to do with them. I just have to punch them in through here as a heading. And that will tell KDP that this is the start of a new chapter or, or that I want it to look this certain way. Because the trouble with Kindle devices is that the Kindle user is able to control the font and the size of the text. But when I go through the styles panel, I can control what the size and the style of the text is going to be. So whenever you are typing your book and you want a chapter title to be big or small or whatever, you want to set a chapter title apart from the regular text, use the styles panel heading one 
and then when you type in just the regular text or the body of the chapter, go to normal, and then it will be distinguished for you on Kindle. That's the proper formatting right there.